Hey everyone, Matt here, and welcome to this brief introduction into Session Guitarist Strummed Acoustic 2. This is the second installment in the Strummed Acoustic sample libraries from Native Instruments. And note that this is a second installment. This is not necessarily an updated new version. Um, although that being said, there are some great new additions and improved features in this second library. So if you're brand new to Strummed Acoustic and don't quite know what it is, just imagine having a instrument where you can tell like a session guitarist how to strum, what kind of chords to play, what patterns, and have a truly realistic sounding acoustic guitar track inside of any kind of production you want to do, inside of any genre really that you want to play in. So very helpful. It takes a lot of effort to get your guitar set up right, get the mics properly mic'd up in the studio, and get a very clean, pristine kind of recording. Uh, this sample library does it for you automatically, so it's a nice treat even for people who play guitar like myself. So, first thing first, what is new about Strummed Acoustic 2? Well, you might notice here that we're playing a 12 string in this version. And it's very beautiful guild 12 strings. So that is a first introduction. And uh, secondly, what else is new? We have a second guitar, and this is a Martin guitar from the 1930s. So beautiful. One thing I want to point out too is that if you are a user of Strummed Acoustic 1, you might know that this is a very clean, almost uh, poppy, almost bright kind of recording of an acoustic guitar. Uh, the developers actually kind of went the opposite direction with this version to create more of a natural sound, maybe almost characterized as a dirtier sound uh, in the way that these guitars were mic'd and recorded. So it's a nice kind of offset from the first library. So what else is new? Well, again, like I was saying, the way this works is that you can kind of play any pattern and switch between multiple patterns. without any notice of like a jittery kind of effect. So you can get a wide variety of playing styles and create realistic performances of the acoustic guitar. So one way you can do that is actually to come in, for instance, even if you want to change something subtly, you can kind of come in here and offset how the strums are coming in. So maybe I want to accent the backbeat or something in this instance, and you'll see it actually can show you that this uh, pattern has been adjusted by the start point. You can also create a shorter pattern. Maybe you want to do something, you know, whatever you would want to kind of do from there. Uh, so that's a nice option to have. Now, what else can we do? If you don't like the patterns that are in any of these presets, you can just come in and kind of choose whatever you like. So there are hundreds of patterns here. And with the way that you can offset the start point, you're kind of multiplying these hundreds uh, and creating even more patterns. So you can simply come in here and choose a pattern or new to version two, tap in a pattern and find results that way. And don't worry if you don't get your tapping pattern right, you kind of get the idea of it and then maybe you want to kind of refine it a bit more and really kind of find out what you would want. And I would choose that pattern. And you'll notice too, with the Complete Control keyboards, all this stuff is laid out. You can play us on any keyboard, but with the Complete Control series from and Native Instruments, you're looking at all your different patterns here in red, all your different endings in yellow, some pickups, and then this great new feature, which is the orange D sharp. So in Strummed Acoustic 2, you have this new open string. So for anyone who's a guitarist and you know that it's impossible to uh, change chords from maybe an A minor to an F like without in a split second, you know what I mean? You can't literally just change a chord so fast. There are usually some open strings being strummed in between that. So with a sample library, it might sound a little fake if you just... So Strummed Acoustic 2 gives you the option to basically hit this open string. And what you want to do is kind of strike it right before you would change the chord. So 
So it gives you a bit more realism when you would want that. And different patterns are going to kind of show that off and showcase it better than others. So play around with that a little bit. What else can this do? Well, you might notice that some of these patterns have a little bass clef in them. And so what's interesting about that is you can now separate the bass, meaning you can kind of uh, play different melodies. So when you have one of these patterns selected, and I play a chord, you might notice this purple section shows up. And so what that means is you can actually inject these slash chords into your playing. So I can now have a little more flexibility with the strum patterns that I'm playing back. You hear the realism of the fret noise and everything in there as you'd be switching. So for all sorts of different styles of music, slash chords can be very important. And now you have that flexibility to play them in with your own hands and kind of tell the guitarist exactly what to play. And so another thing that you might want to key in on is that you can actually change these presets too. So I have something that sounds nice, but you can also kind of come in and have all these different options. Maybe I want this wide open double tracked. And get a completely different feel that way. So you can really come into the sound area and dial in whatever kind of sound you would like. Add some EQ. These are kind of broad EQ uh, strokes, uh, compression, and reverb change through different reverbs, all sorts of different halls, stadiums, whatever you would want. So really put that guitarist in whatever environment you would need for your track. What else can you do? Well, you might know that the mod wheel can play between like a higher position and a lower position. And you can kind of use this and modulate this in real time to blend seamlessly between uh, kind of a different, more realistic feel again, so it doesn't sound quite like a software instrument. And also you can use the pitch bend to do accents. So to really, it's it might be subtle, but you might, you know, just like a regular guitarist is gonna play a little bit differently dynamically each, each hit, uh, you can kind of use that and vary that. So I'm gonna show you a track that uses that and also uses uh, changing between different patterns, patterns that have been offset differently, uh, patterns using the open strum, all these different ways that you can create a very realistic sounding acoustic guitar track. So enjoy this and listen. There you have it. You can see how a sample-based instrument can sound truly realistic. And a good thing to note is that this is great for even people that play guitar. Sometimes I will use this just to sketch out before I even sit down and mic up the guitars or anything like that. Sometimes I'll play it in and not change it at all because it sounds so good. So experiment with it. It's a great option to have for anyone in any genre of production. Cheers. <laughs>